coming up on Mountain News this morning, two Kentucky police officers are on the road to recovery after being shot in the line of duty. And a group of veterans make their way to Western Kentucky to help with tornado cleanup efforts. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's 632. I'm Dakota Makeris. I hope you are up and at it this morning because we certainly are. Let's take it over to Brandon Robinson, who, well, certainly has hardly anything to talk about. So he's I'm OK with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly OK with that. I would agree with that because after the last what eight weeks, uh, that's a nice change of pace. <laughs> nice change of pace. All right, let's talk about what we do have to talk about this morning, and that's the camera network. We head over to US 119, US 23 at going up Jenkins Mountain there, and you can see pretty quiet this morning. A few cars rolling up the hill there into Virginia this morning, including a tractor trailer. So we're going to keep an eye on that for you this morning. 19 in Moorhead, 18 in Irvine, and 17 in Monticello. Everybody else is in the 20s this morning with Hazard and Logan, our hot spots at 20 a piece forecast for today heading up to 49 just a few clouds mixed in with our sunshine and not as cold tonight as we only drop into the 30s for overnight lows Dakota all right Brandon thank you well we continue to follow an investigation into a murder suicide involving a 10 year old boy in Lexington police were called to respond to shots fired at a home and found the pair dead when they arrived the Fayette County coroner reported that both died of gunshot wounds a report identified the boy as Landon Hayes and labeled his case as a homicide. The same report claims 22-year-old Tyrus Latham died of suicide. One neighbor says he used to play video games with Landon after school. He was like an ordinary kid. He would just he would like to be around kids. He wouldn't. Put, he would just be to himself, but he would be around his little nephews, cousins, and everything. Landon's family and friends held a vigil for uh, Monday night to honor his legacy. Officials at a Kentucky jail say they are still trying to improve procedures as they deal with the death of a sixth inmate in three months. Louisville Metro Corrections released a statement saying that 36-year-old Leslie Starnes was found unresponsive by a corrections officer. He was pronounced dead Sunday at a hospital. Metro Con Corrections Director Dwayne Clark said he and his staff are working hard on examining their processes. He also said they are concentrating on mental health screenings. Well, two people were found dead inside of a LaGrange Hotel Friday. Carbon monoxide was considered a possible factor after high levels of the odorless gas were detected by first responders. The hotel was evacuated and police say one man was taken to a hospital due to showing signs of carbon monoxide exposure. The two victims were identified as 40-year-old Stacy Barada and 39-year-old John Paul Netty. Both are from New Albany, Indiana. Two police officers are still recovering after being shot in the line of duty. One in Lexington Saturday, one in Harrison County a week ago. Both had bulletproof vests on and law enforcement groups say they uh, the vests are essential to saving lives. Many police officers who survived being shot say the vest was the big difference. Lamont Washington was shot twice and he says the second round would have been deadly. The impact point when we got to the hospital on the MRI was directly on my subclavian. There is no way to tourniquet that. An organization called Supporting Heroes plays a big role in law enforcement officer funerals, and they are thankful that two more, na that two more names are not being added to the list. Well, we now know the name of the seven-year-old who died in a house fire in Wolf County on Friday. The Wolf County coroner said Bentley Haney died in the fire. Now, we are still working to learn funeral arrangements. The cause of the fire is still not known. Clay County Sheriff Patrick Robinson is asking for information about a school bus fire. A fire, a Facebook post said the bus was at the Clay County bus garage off South Highway 421. The sheriff said it happened around 2 a.m. on Friday, February 4th. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Clay County Sheriff's Office. One group of veterans made their way to Western Kentucky yesterday to help December's tornado victims as they continue to recover. The Veterans Club sent the team to the area to help people clear out more debris from people's properties while also building people new furniture and delivering food and other daily necessities to those in need. Club founder Jeremy Harrell says this is not the first effort they've made to help those recovering, but says what they need looks a bit different now. We have a lot of food and things like that, but there are some things uh, that, they, that they are missing, like tools generators and uh, you know construction materials things like that 
Carol also wants to remind people that the recovery process will continue to be a slow one as those approved by FEMA for relief may be waiting a long time to get what they need to fully recover from the damage left behind by storms. Well, Mountain Comprehensive Care Center officials announced construction of a new drop-in center for the youth of Leslie County. Our Chaz Jenkins has more from officials on what that means for the area. A new drop-in center in Leslie County made possible through the support of the school system and city. I used to be a teacher and at that time there was so much need for that. And now with COVID and everything, it's so much worse. And I think kids, um, as a general rule, need somebody to just talk to and they're gonna have all kinds of great things. It's all gonna be free. Spearheaded by Mountain Comprehensive Care Center, who saw a need for the county's youth. I think there's just not been historically a lot of options for youth here uh, from what I've come to know and learn. Um, so we kind of identified that need fairly early on. There are a lot of kids that their needs are not being met in a lot of ways, like, you know, emotionally, financially. Uh, even, you know, even a lot of kids need extra help with their homework. I think they're going to provide that. Offering a variety of activities and services, but also providing a safe space. That is the main focus for this center, that they, the youth and adolescents can come here can talk to us in confidentiality and be a safe place for them to learn and to grow both academically and individually. Confident in the sustainability of the new center. We fully anticipate this staying open for quite some time. We're committed to the youth and adolescents in Leslie County, the school board, and also the adults and families in Leslie County. Giving a safe haven for the youth of Leslie County. Chaz Jenkins, WYMT Mountain News. Well, we are told construction will begin this week and is slated to be completed in two to three weeks. Former KISS guitarist Ace Fraley is coming to the Forum and Hazard on March 13th. The Forum will be the smallest venue on his tour and the show is the only Kentucky stop. Greg Napier booked the concert and he says it's been a long road getting through COVID. But, you know, we're, we're just honored to get back and very grateful to be back and we want to give everybody the best night possible. Well, he hopes the concert will ki will kick start a new concert season for the form. You can find more information on how to get tickets for the show on our website. Six forty here on this Tuesday morning, and it is cold out there. Teens in Lexington, Moorhead, Irvine, and Monticello, and low to mid twenties, pretty much everywhere else. And Hazard is the lone. 27 left on the map. Logan down to 25 and then Pikeville to 26 along with Prestonsburg. So again, temperatures continuing to fall. Breakfast forecast today. We're going to see temperatures continue to go up as we get the sunshine up here in a little bit. About uh, 7, or actually it's a little after, no, 7.30, 7.30 this morning. So we're going to continue to see those temperatures go up pretty quickly as we head deeper to the day, topping out close to 50 this afternoon. Dakota? All right, Brandon, thank you so much. The time is 640. Still to come here on Mountain News this morning. A cathedral in our nation's capital honors the American lives lost to COVID-19.